I teach an online pre-algebra class, and students in that class are way smart, and some of them are wicked fast, so I have to be fast to keep up with them. Now, I teach by typing, so I'd really train, train, get really good at typing. The students ask me, how did I get so fast at typing? Now, I usually tell them I have 25 fingers, but you can see that that's not true. The truth is, I use two keyboards. It's awfully hard to use two keyboards at the same time, so I had to practice that a whole lot. I had these typing tests I do. I do these tests, I train, I train, I train, and what I do is I keep track each minute how many words I type to see if I'm getting any better. And here are the results of the last 30 tests I took. Right here, how many words I typed in each of those minutes. As you can see, sometimes I get interrupted around here, so I planted some zeros here, but sometimes I'm really fast. 98, 92, those are really good trials. Now, of course, to see how fast I am, you don't want to have to think about all these numbers. What you want to think about is just one number. You want a statistic. Statistics give us a way to describe a whole bunch of numbers with just a few numbers. In this case, we're going to talk about ways to describe all these numbers with just one number. So we're going to start off with the most common. You know of it as average. Sometimes we call it the mean or the arithmetic mean. And the average for the average is what you do to get your grades in a lot of classes. We're just going to add up all these numbers and then divide by how many numbers there are. So, for example, if we just had two numbers, a 1 and a 5, you add the 1 and the 5, you get 6. You divide by 2, you get 3. The average of 1 and 5 is 3. That's right in between 1 and 5, right in the middle. And what happens if we take some more numbers? Say we start off with a 76 and four ones. That's five numbers. We add them all up, we get 76 plus four ones gives us 80. You divide by 5, you get 16. Now, 16 is not exactly in the middle of the 1s and the 70, and that kind of makes sense because you got a lot of 1s down there. So the 16 is closer to the 1s, but the 70 still has an effect. You know, it brings the average up to 16, brings it away from those 1s. Now, we're going to find the average of all my typing test trials right here. First step is we have to add them all up, so we've got to find the sum. All right, so we'll add these up. Okay, I get 1845. Is that what you get? Great. Oh, we get the same thing. It's got to be right. So the sum is 1845. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cheated. I added these up before the video. But the sum is 1845. So the average, we take the sum and we divide by how many numbers there are. There are 10 numbers in each row. We've got 30 numbers up there. So we're going to divide by 30. Now, 30 goes into 1,860 times, 30 goes into 45, one and a half times, so our average is 61 and a half, or 61.5. Now, I don't think that's really a fair measure of how fast I am. I mean, look at these numbers. Not many of them are less than 61 and a half. You know, I got a couple 61s there, a 3 and a 5, and a, uh, the zeros. I mean, I get interrupted here all the time. But look at all these higher numbers. There have got to be some other measures of how fast I am. We're going to talk about two more. One of these is called the median, and the median is the number that's in the middle. So you take all the numbers, you list them from, beginning, from the lowest to the highest, and you take the one in the middle, that's the median. So we start off by rearranging the numbers from lowest to highest, and we're going to pick the one off that's in the middle. You got the 10, up, 10 low ones here, 10 high ones here. We're going to start from the ends, and we're going to find the middle, and the middle is right there. Now, if we'd had an odd number of numbers, there would be a single number right there in the middle. We'd circle it. We'd call it the median. Here we have an even number of numbers. We started off with 30 numbers. There's not a single number in the middle. So here, when, the when we have an even number of numbers, the median is just the average of the middle two. So if we have an odd number of numbers, the median is just that number that comes out right in the middle when you list from beginning, from the lowest to the highest. We have an even number of numbers. It's the average of the middle two. So the number that's right between the middle two, and that's 73 and a half. And exactly half of these numbers are higher than that, half of them are lower than that. The median is right in the middle when we list them. Now the last measure that we'll talk about is the mode. And the mode is a very simple statistic. It's the number that's most common. What number's most common in this list? Yeah, it's these stinking zeros when I get interrupted. I'm faster than zero. All right, quick recap. The average, which we sometimes call the mean or the arithmetic mean, that's the sum of the numbers 
divided by how many numbers you have. The median, you list all the numbers from lowest to highest, and you take the number in the middle. If you've got an even number of numbers, you just take the average of the two in the middle. And then the mode is the most common number. Now in the next few videos, we're going to talk about a few different ways to think about the average. Because adding up all these numbers, adding up all these numbers is a pain. So we're going to find some other ways to think about the average. Then we're going to talk about some of the limitations of these statistics, mainly the average and the median. Because as we've already seen, the mode is kind of silly. I'm way faster than zero.